Hey guys, Nurse Mike here and welcome to SimpleNursing.com. Before we get today's lecture started, please remember, click here to check out our brand new app-based NCLEX product, loaded with the highest quality NCLEX style practice questions and complete with detailed video rationales that break down the question for you. So finally master all those darn select all that apply questions. Plus, all our NCLEX memberships come included with our entire library of over a thousand videos and study guides and cheat sheets. Come see why over a hundred thousand students have trusted their future to simplenursing.com. Click here to get started for free. Now, sulfacelazine is a sulfa drug, guys, given for inflammatory bowel disease, IBD, including both Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis those autoimmune diseases where the body is attacking itself. So this med decreases colon inflammation by inhibiting prostaglandins, which I call our party poppers of inflammation, usually from an immune response. So it's considered an immunosuppressive med that weakens the body immune system to help the body stop attacking itself. Now, common side effects, guys, these are normal. So we have yellow-orange discoloration of the skin and urine. No need to follow up and no need to stop taking the med. Now, major adverse effects for patient safety. And again, NCLEX always concerns itself with patient safety. Key points here are SULF, S for sun dried, sunblock, and a dry body, guys. So for sun, key term is photosensitivity. Teach patients to wear sunblock and avoid direct sun exposure. And since sulfas really dry out the body, they create U, urine crystals, or basically kidney stones, and L, low urine output with high specific gravity, over 1.030. That was a huge NCLEX tip, guys. Write that down. Elevated urine specific gravity. So remember, if urine gravity is high, then the body is dry. So remember, F for fluid and folic acid. We drink eight glasses of water per day, and you take a folic acid supplement, one milligram per day. Now, don't let the NCLEX trick you. Some expected findings with ulcerative colitis, we get bloody diarrhea, and inflammatory markers will be elevated. So guys, don't stop the med. The med will actually help with this. Now, according to Kaplan, this medication, we continue even after symptoms subside. And on the HESI, it was contraindicated in patients with a sulfa allergy. Guys, write that down. This is a sulfa drug. Thanks for watching. For our full video and new quiz bank, click right up here to access your free trial. And please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Last but not least, a big thanks to our team of experts helping us make these great videos. All right, guys, see you next time.